Hi, welcome back. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add controls to the uh, Panel Builder application. Um, you can add buttons, you can add faders, and you can add labels. So in order to add a control, you would first click on the Edit in the menu, and that will open up uh, an information box which corresponds to the information in each control each button and or fader etc. So I'm not going to go through in this video I'm not going to go through the actual information that you put in the buttons but more so how to uh, make the buttons create them and how to move them around on the page sizing etc. So let's take a colored button for example. So here's a colored button that uh, is the size that we would have put in our preferences so it'll always open up this size this was uh, done in a previous uh, tutorial on how to set up preferences so this size is actually the size that the button will be created now you can uh, you can resize it just by dragging the corners and make this button whatever shape you want rectangle square and sized whatever size you want now if you wanted to duplicate this this button you can right click on the button and say clone and it will put it beside the one you've just cloned. It will also clone all the information that we may have put in to the previous button. The other shortcut to this is using the Control C and Control V, the copy-paste commands, um, as in Windows, or the Command C and the Command V on a Mac. So if you click on that button and I go Control C V and just keep pasting, it will put them all one beside the other. So now we can group these and move them around as a group if we like. We can also group them and copy all of that if you like. So I could copy it by right clicking and saying clone. When there's many buttons in a group you notice that drop them down to the right that just makes them easier to grab instead of overlaying them beside each other or on top of each other so you can move them around. So you see how quick that was to create that many buttons. Now the advantage to doing that is I will just delete these for a moment. The advantage to doing that is, for instance, I'll go, I'll put an icon button here. If I had information in that button, let's say a transition to a cut direct, and maybe to, we'll go to the camera there, and my tally color, I will set that up as red. I'm going to go through this a little more in detail in another video. But just to show you that this button here now has this information in it. I can also copy that in so if I do a control C and V it copies the, that button and can copies all the information to each button. So now if I wanted to change just one part of the information for instance in the second button I can choose maybe a different input here and then in the third one I could choose also a different input. Fourth one I could choose a different input. So we'll call it like that and just put something different over here as well. Um, let's do that. Now this, uh, the info box, if I click it off, you can just click on here, it'll go off. And these buttons here would now be switching the, they're cut direct, so they'd be switching whatever's on the output. So if I go to here, that would tally and show you that input. Okay, you see how it's switching to the appropriate inputs that I've programmed in those buttons. I'll get into more detail on how to program these buttons in another video. Just to show you that how quickly you can program five buttons, and actually, if you use the escape uh, button here, that will also bring up the info box. And the escape turns it all uh, on and off. You can copy all of this and go Command CV. Whoops. And. Uh, We'll just grab those and we'll move them down here. And instead of a cut direct, what I'll do is I'll make that a preview. Let's see, a preview input. So now, whatever I do here, you notice it changes the preview. So now you've got basically a program bus and a preview bus made in a matter of a couple minutes. So that's uh, basically how you add buttons to. Um, to the panel. Um, I'm also, I'll am also i go back to edit. I'll get rid of these. Actually, I'll just leave them there for now. You can move them all around in a group. What I, I'm going to add now is uh, a label. And again, you can size it and do whatever you want with it. You can uh, put it in behind here. If you right-click, you'll notice you can 
send it to the back or bring it to the front. Okay, we'll send it to the back. So now it goes in behind those buttons and you can put appropriate information, change colors, etc. Again, that'll be in another tutorial. Um, just wanted to show you another a quick little thing over here. If, uh, let's say these buttons were sort of all scattered and yet created buttons, but scattered everywhere, you can highlight those, right click on one of them, and say align the bottom, and that will align them all up. Had they been something like this, and you wanted to, uh, you just move them around a bit, uh, just so they're not stacked, you can select those and you can also align them to the left. And that will align all the objects to the left. Um, same thing with uh, faders. You can add a fader, of course you can size that, and you can add the pertinent information in here, basically just check uh, which input you want. Uh, you can clone those the same way you do buttons. Okay, and uh, here I'll just remove a couple of those. And you can also create uh, just a strictly a VU without a fader. Same way you can clone that. Now if you had, uh, if you wanted to clone two of them, command CV, you notice it put them down a little bit lower, you can do that too. So you could basically group and clone objects. And again, the information that you may have put in these buttons would be cloned in the next one. Um, there's also a T-bar. T-bar is used to, it's basically for a set fader, and you can use the T-bar here. Okay, so uh, that's just a quick uh, overview of how to add objects. Um, I'll get into the detail of the information that you put into these uh, these controls and um, into a, a little, little later video. And uh, that's about it for now. Thanks for listening and uh, we'll see you in the next video.